everyone. Welcome to Green Talk by Green Care Solutions on KCAA, NBC Radio, iHeartRadio, and on Spotify. Today, we have Julian Marley as our celebrity guest. Also, we have Green Care Solutions right here on the table. You can find them at Green Care Solutions 420. I'm your host, Yanitza Munoz, and I'm here with my lovely co host What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Angela Mazzanti. It's Brian Gonzalez back from here from Green Care Solutions. Now, this is a cannabis-friendly and educational program. You must be 21 years of age to listen. And we're not doctors, but Green Care Solutions has doctors for you. Follow us at Green Care Solutions 420 on Instagram and then our new website at greencaresolutions.com. And then to follow the show, it's greentalknews.com. Yes, so now let's get into the show. We have producer, singer, and songwriter Julian Marley. Welcome. Uh, Julian Marley is the son of Bob Marley. So uh, a lot of people already kind of like love the reggae music and everything. And I love that you are still kind of like in your father's footsteps. And now, how, how was it having your father as Bob Marley? He's such an influential figure in so many ways. He was an advocate, um, a songwriter, singer, producer himself, and an advocate for cannabis and peace. Well, I think you've answered all of that question greatly, you know, and all of those things he is to me also, you know, as well as being a father, humanitarian, or even a spiritual guide, you know, as a, as a Rastafarian, you know. Mm-hmm. So he's a very, you're correct on all of those things, because even me as one of, you know, one of the children also acknowledges, you know, that greatness, you know, mm-hmm. which is a humanitarian works, really, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now... I know your father has probably influenced a lot in your career, too, as a singer and songwriter. And you are also Grammy-nominated as well. All right. Great. (laughs) Yes, yes. And we also have the new album that is out called As I Am, you know. So that's what we've been promoting recently. But, yes, the album which was um, nominated was called Awake, you know, so which was the previous album. Yes. Yes. And so um, Green Care Solutions um, is a CBD hemp and THC company. Now, did you ever imagine that now cannabis can be recreationally illegal in the U.S.? Because I know that you were born in the U.K. and the U.K. it's a little different because it's still very taboo. But here in the U.S., they're kind of making breakthroughs in certain states. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad to see that, you know, we're finally making a breakthrough, you know, with all, you know, because like, say, for for instance, my family or even my father has been, you know, promoting and being an advocate for the herb, like you said, from the 70s or even the 60s even, you know, to see, so to see the final, you know, come around that everyone can really say, you know, for this is a good plant, you know, it's good for everything. It's a healing of the nation, you know, mm-hmm. the healing of your mind, your soul, your body. So it's such of a great plant that I'm, you know, Differently, I'll say it's about time that they did it. I mean, they've been waiting so long. Hey, welcome to the pack, guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's yes. what I have to say. So it's great to see the new this this new awareness for the for the plant. You know, mm-hmm. because it does help lives. We just had Tito Ortiz on, and he was talking a lot about his physical injuries as an MMA fighter. I mean, you get so many blows to the head, mm-hmm. so much physical uh, strain, and and then yeah. they prescribe a lot of opioids to these fighters and or even nfl athletes we've had ricky williams and he was complaining about it too like you you work so hard you work your body like crazy and they give you opioids and you become addicted and here we have cbd and hemp and it can actually help you more yeah and then when they give you medication it gives you something else that you didn't want also and when you when you use the herb all it can do is put you to sleep (laughs) absolutely and that's probably because you needed it Mm-hmm. You know, you really needed to get some rest. That's why, you know. Mm-hmm. So the herb, as we say, is one of the greatest things that we could have on earth, you know, along with our lives and each other, you know, to, to spread this kind of positivity, you know. I totally agree. Uh, where do you currently live yeah, now? Yeah, it's a great. Where well, do you? Right here where, in Miami. Oh, in Miami. So how, what's the laws out there in uh, Florida with cannabis? Is it recreational? Is it medical? Well, it's medical. It, they see it medical, you know, the whole world have to see it at some, some point, you know. So this is one of the places that finally, you know, saw it recently over the last, I guess, year. That is now is medical. And now even hemp, hemp itself is legal, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. So you can have hemp. Yeah. 
So that is a start. But they're still a bit slow jogging. But hey, welcome again, like we say, John. <laughs> yeah, making yeah. progress. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, I wish you were here because I know you're far away, but it'd be cool because then we can give you some of our hemp products. Because mm-hmm. um, we were even giving it some to... Um, oh to the athletes too to help them with their inflammation to help them you know with anything now with a lot of the recovery and since you're on tour a lot is it tough for you to medicate when you're traveling the world no because the medication is all over the world mm. <laughs> that is another great thing that you, that's why the plant is so good everywhere you go the plant is there okay good and it's being used in so much different cultures and so much different places that you go to as i you want to have herb, and hey, some some the the person that you would probably swear that doesn't have it, he's the one that's <laughs> blessing you with some herb, you know. So yes, yeah, it's a very it's a sacramental thing. So everywhere we go, we have to, you know, it finds us somehow. Yeah, it always finds you. Yep, and especially with your name and everything, yeah. people are always willing to hey, turn around. There's right there for you. <laughs> <laughs> now with traveling a lot, where have you found? has some of the best cannabis. Hmm. Well, quite a few places. One time I went to India and got a good jar. <laughs> and that was ra- very random. Very random. <laughs> you know, um, obviously Cali has got a lot of great herb. Switzerland have great herb. You know, Amsterdam, you know. Right now, I think everyone's you know, got the knowledge now to, you know, everyone knows about the herb. Herb is not a mystery or a secret no more. So everyone knows what good herb is and everywhere you go, someone has the good herb, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty again about it, you know. Well, it's kind of, (laughs) now that it's, you know, mm -hmm. Now that it's recreationally legal, unfortunately, like some people are kind of cutting corners now. Like there's fake cartridges that are being made. Unfortunately, it's sad. Yeah. You know, and it's getting people sick. And it's like, why are you? Because maybe they want to save money. So they'll get an affordable cartridge. And you don't know what you're smoking. You don't know what it is. And it's better just to have the flower. But it's it's kind of maybe ruin it for some people who are trying to do it right. Have you heard about that, Julian, about all these deaths and sicknesses uh, associated with the new vape carts that are I've on the street? I've heard about it. Okay. Have you uh, learned about it yeah, all? Cause... I mean, I've, I, I, I kind of use my common sense. Mm-hmm. I, I don't like to use it myself, but I use my common sense and I say, okay, it's a vape. Okay. I'm more of a flower person all the time, you know. Um, but for me, you know, it's just really bringing propaganda on this perfect plan. You know what I mean? Because now they're trying to say, oh, it's not, you know what I mean? It's not the herb that's doing it. It is what they're putting in the herb. Absolutely. So this is what we have to let the whole world be aware that don't give the herb bad name because the herb has been, the herb has been, you know, growing since King Solomon and King David and it has no, had no problem then. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Much less today where we have so much knowledge. So we know, you know, you know, the more they process and process is the more that. Yeah, you know, you you get something different than it's natural, you know. Well, yeah. and the thing is too, like the the problem with the cartridges isn't necessarily like the the THC content that's the problem. A lot of these companies are cutting corners by using uh, yeah. vitamin E, and it's it's really hazardous oh. to vape vitamin E oil. Mm-hmm. I heard that too. You know, for me, I I. You see, because I am when it because when it comes to herb, it's a spiritual thing to me. So when I see the herb as it as a plant, I need to smoke it as it is, you know. Correct. So it's because we have so many different ways of no, right. you know, there's so many different things you can do, and they all make you iry, you know. So it's like, all right, what what is your choice? If you want to do all of them, then, but for me, you know, just to keep even more disciplined and a bit more healthier. I right, stick to what I know, what has been traditional over the years, which is just smoking the herb itself. Or you personally, if you're going to, you know, make oil out of it, if you have the knowledge or you trust the right people who's making it, you know. Yeah. So it comes back down to, you know, the natural. Some people want a quick quick fix. So that's the problem. It's not about the quick fix. It's about the, the organic, you know, and the, the time that it takes to... You know, even if you have a good dinner, you're not going to rush your dinner, you know. Some people get a good dinner, you like to take your time to taste the flavor. 
flavors of the food, you know? Yeah, mm. no, absolutely. So, no. Uh, same with the herb, you know? The key word that you said there was like a trust, like you need to find a trusted source if you're going to go with the oils and everything. And that's why, um, like Angela was just saying, how they're putting these artificial, you know, it's like a liquid to make it thick, to cut the product. But yeah. that's why, you know, with it getting more legal, I think having more legal resources, like all our products are tested, 100% pure THC, no additives. I, you really have to go to a trusted sort of, or if not, you're going to really put your health at risk. And, you know, with the news articles now, it's no joke. It's actually happening. And I think it's the same with it's, food, yeah. too. Like uh, you see... You see a lot of things with food and like how how much processed food there is out there and how quick it is and easy to get. Yeah, but you're not seeing or a lot of people aren't paying attention to what it's doing to their health where it's like if you eat organic and you eat raw, you're not going to have these problems like you would with eating processed food. And it's kind of the same for cannabis. Like if you stick to just smoking flour and keeping it that way and really not trying to get into too many like processed concentrates because the high might be a little higher for you or anything like that. I feel like it'll really speak tons for your health. Here is the answer. Here is the answer. Government must make sure that everyone has some land that they can plant food and herb. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, because food and herb, because we, yes. would, get, we would get away from the, 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 the um, all of those processed foods, the vegetable, all of them stuff that there's, you know. So if we have land and we can plant our own food and plant our own herbs, you know, that's that's the perfect way, you know. But obviously, the herb is the healing of the nation. If you heal the nation, you know, the hospitals don't make no money. Babylon don't make no money. Huh? <laughs> and the people are free and joy, living in unity, you know what I mean, and healthy. So, as we said, the herb is a magic plant, you know, and we have to really let the people know, say, hey, treat the herb good, because it's not the herb, it's what, what they do to the herb. And um, soon from now, they're going to start saying, oh, the herb is doing this to the people, mm -hmm. not the herb. You know, it is what they're trying to boost boost it up with and the herb is is as boosted as it, it can be you know mm -hmm. yeah no, most yeah. definitely and i love that you and all your siblings the you guys are all musicians and advocates and philanthropists you uh with your siblings stefan damien and camian you guys were also uh in a group called ghetto youth's crew oh yes mm -hmm. Yeah, that was um, quite some years ago. We was um, experimenting with sounds and was blending like the hip hop and the reggae and the dancehall, and it was like a it was like a crew, like you know, it was almost like you see Wu Tang, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> but it was a Jamaican <laughs> Wu Tang, you know, mm -hmm. like a Jamaican Wu Tang. I like and we that. went on a couple of tours and we was just about you know to do some stuff and. I don't know. I guess it, you know some things they experiment and it's a time and it's fun and but after a while it's like oh everyone's get back get, got you know uh, get back to what they what they were originally doing whether it was a, we were individual artists you know what I mean because mm -hmm. we were individual artists but at some point we came together for like three years four years like to get to use crew we did lots of recordings but no no releases. <laughs> Uh, so that one, maybe it can, maybe the fans might hear that one day, you know. Yeah, you guys might have like a comeback yeah. tour. I think in Southern California, people would really like that. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> that'll be good. Yeah. So you were just on yes. uh, tour recently, weren't you? You were traveling around through America, going to uh, playing in different places. Well, we were just on the West Coast um, for a nice, a nice eight shows, you know, on the West Coast. Um, um, this is like a new introduction back to, back for me in America, you know, touring, you know, and having a new album. So it was like a refresh, re, renew, re, reborn, rebirth again, you know. So mm -hmm. good experience and the music is strong and the vibes are good and the people are, are warm. So you have a new, yes, you have a new single out. coming more. Right, you have a new single that just came out recently. Yes, yes, um, it's called "Cooling in Jamaica." Nice. Yeah, which is all about you know freeing yourself of the, the nine to five slavery mm -hmm. that you know that the, 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 the first worlds provide that they you know the first worlds, and you go to Jamaica, you yeah, to a beach where 
you know, you wouldn't have, you know, you know, even Miami Beach is not as nice as, you know, Jamaica Beach. I've been to Jamaica. <laughs> you know I mean? in Jamaica. So when you go to Jamaica, you free your space. And we have a, yeah, we have a video. So the video is out now, you know what I mean? And yeah, that's what we have at the moment from the As I Am album. Nice. And you've also done great collaborations yes. with other artists like Lauren Hill. Yeah, well, we had, um, me and my brothers helped to work on the album Miss Education of Lauren Hill, you know. So well, I didn't get to, I didn't sing with her, but we, you know, I played some instruments and. Because mm -hmm. you play quite a few, a few grooves, instruments. You, know, music, like, you play a lot of instruments, so it's pretty cool. But you, you play a lot of the instruments. You play the guitar, uh, the drums, the keys as well. And, and some bass. Yes, and some bass. Yes. Now, um, back to what you're saying, how you were doing like a mix of reggae, EDM, and hip hop. Do you think that you might be doing something like that again? Well, you know, inspiration is. I'm, I am driven by inspiration, so sometimes you know it depends on what you're feeling. Mm -hmm. So that can be an inspiration at some point in time. It's not like I'm saying I'm going to plan to do, you know, because we don't really plan. We, you know, it's more of a feeling, you know. Mm -hmm. So, but it's, it can be possible, but I don't know when and I don't know what, what type. Mm -hmm. No, most <laughs> you know? definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, before we get to the end of the show, I want to um, have Brian just talk a little bit about Green Care Solutions. And next time you're in California, we would love to give you some of these products. We have some lemonade, CBD, and THC. We have some yeah. rolls, pre rolls, tinctures, everything. Yeah, we got the whole lineup. We have, and we have actually a new skincare, CBD skincare line coming out in about a month or so, too. So uh, we're real excited about that and all the benefits that it actually can do for your skin as well. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, yeah, that'll be great to hook up. And, you know, the Juju Royal brand is there too. Uh, um, we have the CBD cooking. Oil, or you know, not, not just cooking oil, CBD olive oil, infused olive oil, you know. Oh, where, I love it. Nice. Whether it's your salads, like cooking. So, you know, CBD, as we say, healing of the nation, the THC gives you meditation, you know. So, <laughs> I like that. That's so, true. Somehow we know how to use both of them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very, very true. Well, uh, my co-host here, Angela Mazanti, she's also a, she's a rapper and singer, or songwriter. Yeah, uh, so we just released a new song, all too, right. uh, this month for Suicide Awareness. So all the proceeds that are coming from that, we're donating wow. back to Suicide Awareness causes. So everything we're getting off streaming platforms and anything that we make through that is all going back to people who might be out there dealing with depression and dealing with thoughts of suicide and just knowing that it, it's not the only answer out there. Yeah, we have to create, a, you know, as a movement that has to be created, you know. And, you know, the people, um, as we say, Babylon, we call Babylon. Babylon means the system. Anything which is negative, anything which is down, any, anything that is taxing, we call it Babylon, you know. So Babylon is always, you know, doing their thing to try and, you know, they don't, you know, they bring stress on the people. And we know what it takes. Love, you know, taking care of ourselves, love. You know, we need a community of people that care for people, you know. And that is like something, I, that's my daily mission for music. Every day, from, ever, from the first time I started music, you know, it's, it's a mission, you know. And it's only now that we really see that, wow, we were studying the right thing because the whole universe needs it, mm -hmm. you know. So, that I'm, I'm, you know, congratulations for doing that. That is something, I've, you know, that is great. That is very great. And I think we should combine some energies and, you know, work on some, you know, some methods on how to really you know get the awareness to the people you know and for all Being about this conscious awareness you know? yes yes and for your fans watching and listening yes. what advice would you give them if they want to if they aspire to be someone like yourself a philanthropist and a successful artist as a songwriter producer and singer well just come from within the side within inside come from inside you know love what you do be yourself you know and once you have you know once people can listen to you you have an option you have a, a option you know to bring positivity or you know push negativity so once even if it's one ear that's enough you know what i'm saying that is enough to start something great so yeah. 
keep positive, you know, all the time. You know what I mean? Yes. Mm, beautifully said. Yes. Well, thank you so much for taking the time for being on Green Talk by Green Care Solutions. Also, do you have anything up uh, up and coming that you'd like to promote? Well, we just want to make the people them know that we have a hot firing band and we're ready to touch anywhere where the fans are. You know what I mean? Let your nearest booking agents know. <laughs> gotcha. Nice. And just check out new album as I am, um, cooling in Jamaica. And, you know, love one another. You know what I mean? Yeah. How can they follow you on um, Instagram or Twitter or whatever you have? Well, it's Julian Marley Instagram, Julian Marley Facebook, Twitter, Spotify. Yeah, well, on um, Instagram is Julian R. Marley for those that might miss it. But it's the one with, you know, you will see, it's the one with the blue tick. <laughs> <laughs> The verification. Yes, so you're official. You know. <laughs> yes. And oh, yes. Um, well, one they last... They say, so they say. Yeah, that's what they say now with the social media thing. Um, so one last question for you. What uh, fond... What is your most, like, fondest memory of your father? He's such an icon internationally. Well, you see, my memory... My, I don't have much memory because, um, you know, being born in London at the time... And you know, kind of, he passed away when I was like five. So mm. I remember one time going to a, a concert in London, Crystal Palace, to be precise, you know. And that was like on the last tour. And I remember going backstage, running into the the dressing room area, and seeing him there. And just like he was wearing this bright red, gold and green jacket, you know. <laughs> and I just remember running up and shaking his hand, shaking his hand, and like running off with the rest of the kids, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's all I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have like that's all I remember. No. It's like in your DNA, like the the philanthropy that he carried on with. Good, the I love you said that. No, it's true because you're a philanthropist. Ah, still. Thank you. you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because sometimes people ask me, I, say, I don't remember nothing, but I feel everything, you know. Mm-hmm. So it's not sometimes it's not what you see and what you know is what you are, you know, and what you represent, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's in your DNA. Like, so that's a blessing in itself. Yes, yes. Well, you've done so much for the community. Um, you have always given back. For the victims of Haiti, you've given back a lot during that unfortunate situation that happened. And you're, you're a person that has a huge platform, but you also give back to the community, which is very important. Thank you. And that's um, also, you know, it's a team because um, it's called Ghetto. A youth foundation which is you know me Stephen and Damien which is my brothers you know so that is a, something that we've had since I can't even count years you know starting off in Jamaica initially until you know we can stretch stretch a bit more further uh, you know mm-hmm. with what we have you know what you can what we got you know sources mm-hmm. so it's, it's all about humanitarian works and you know is that's what life's about you know mm-hmm giving back yes well thank you very much for your time yeah. and for being on green talk by green care solutions and next time you're in california we would love to have you here and we have some amazing products for you as well all right that sounds great thank you thank, thank you, you for so much me. and rastafari is everyone all right yes <laughs> And everyone, this is Yanitza Munoz from Green Talk by Green Care Solutions. You can find me on my Instagram here at the bottom of the screen. I'm here with my lovely co-host. And it's your girl, Angela Mazanti. You can follow me on Instagram at Angela underscore Mazanti. And it's been Brian Gonzalez from Green Care Solutions. Follow us at Green Care Solutions 420 on Instagram. And thank you again, Julian Marley. Thank you. Hey. Oh. <laughs> Love it. Thank you for the chance.